welcome back. What's going on? Welcome back to Food Booth Cigars. As you can see, there's only two of us today. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, it's uh well, it's, it's Chris's birthday, so you know, we give him the day off. <laughs> Allegedly. We gave him the day off, and Josh and I are gonna be uh, you know, taking over tonight. Um, and I'm excited. So tonight is actually uh for us. It's going to be the last night of uh, Bourbon Heritage Month, uh, which was running September 1st to the 30th. Uh, but as we all know, uh, we will not be on on the 30th. So uh, we want to wrap it up tonight. Um, Josh, what's going on, man? How you doing? Not man? much, man. I'm pretty good. How you doing today? All good. All good. Um, excited to do a fresh crack on this uh, this bottle I got. Uh, yep. Treaty Oak, Ghost Hill. Uh, we're also going to be talking about some caramel apple pie. And for a cigar, I know there was a, a slight change. What what are we uh what are we working with? We're going with Espinosa Crema. Ooh. Nice nice, nice cigar. And, and I'm pretty sure you had it recently, so you could attest that it's a good cigar. Ooh. 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 Moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> so also before we dive into it, just want to let everybody know. Last episode, uh, Chris had, you know, left us with a uh, a question about Fireball, and I had to put it at the bottom of our screen saying that Chris was right. Fireball is under the Buffalo Trace portfolio. Nah, but you know, it just just out of uh, because of his birthday, I'm it, it's a Mandela effect. That's a lie. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna change that up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him two two minutes too long about that. There we go. <laughs> So anyways, let's dive right into it. So we, uh, since Chris is not here, I'm going to be handling the, uh, the food part of it. Uh, and tonight is caramel apple pie. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. So the way that Chris does it is actually a little bit different than the way that I would do it. And, uh, Chris actually cuts up, cuts up the apples in chunks, uh, puts them in a bowl, and then puts lemon juice, a little bit of pepper, and really? sh and sugar, and puts it all together in a bowl and puts that to the side. Once he's cooking it, or once that's to the side, now he's cooking the, the caramel, uh, you know, dressing, uh, caramel sauce, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, and... I mean, he, you could either put you could put condensed milk in it and cook that down, or uh, you could buy caramel sauce and you know kind of layer it within, and then uh, just use some some dough at the on the top. I mean, pretty simple, kind kind of like a lasagna, a lasagna for uh, for your yeah, apple pie. Um, yeah. But as we both know, Josh, I know you're not a fan of. Uh, apple pie. So sadly, I don't like apple pie. Don't know yeah. what it is. Like I like apple juice. I like apple by itself, but something when, when you warm it up, uh, it's just weird for me. And if you go back to that picture, I'm, I'm gonna address something here. This picture. This is a nice slice. Why, look at the size why, of that why does it look like that's like a chicken lasagna or something like that? Like, <laughs> it looked like it said noodles and chicken chunks and cheese, but where's that? Like, they don't even look like an apple pie. Well, meat, let but. me ask you this. Did you eat before you came on the show? Did, did yeah, you eat did. or are you still hungry? No, I ate already, <laughs> but that still looks like like something else. <laughs> now nah, I'm just You know, there's a, there's a restaurant in New York um, that everything is supersized. And I'm not talking about McDonald's. Uh, there, there's another, uh, there's another restaurant. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna bother me. Uh, Harold's, is it possibly Harold's? Maybe somebody in the comments could help me out on that one. Uh, but everything's supersized. That slice right there looks supersized. And yeah. it just, that is a fat boy snack for sure. <laughs> it looks like that, that, that heart attack hamburger. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Gigantic ass <laughs> hamburger for no reason. And yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, um, so I was right. It, it is Harold's. Thank you, Josh. You Appreciate that. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll dive right into it. So with um, when it comes to pairing, I know a lot of people don't think to pair bourbon with an apple pie, uh, 
but people do make bourbon caramel sauce for their apple pie. Uh, mm -hmm. And it kind of works hand in hand with it. The sweet, yep. the spiciness, it, it, it's just a nice, uh, nice play on. So tonight, uh, have a bottle of Ghost Hill, Ghost Hill bourbon. Uh, mm -hmm. And Ghost Hill is coming out of Texas. And this bottle, I'm going to do a quick pop. That's a good looking bottle, though. Ooh, that was a nice Ooh. pop, too. Yes, it was. <laughs> So, I was in the start if I'm here. Drink me, please. <laughs> so, Ghost Hill uh, was founded in 2016 uh, by the founder's name was Daniel Barnes. And before they even started producing bourbon, they were actually producing gin, and they were actually known for their oh. gin. So, pretty pretty interesting stuff. Um, but this particular bottle that I have on here is their cast strength. Uh, okay. They just came out with it. Um, I mean, they didn't just come out with it. They they do have another Ghost Hill uh, bourbon, but it's coming in at 95 proof. This one's coming in at 120 proof. Ooh. Yeah, so again, like I've mentioned before, it'll put some hair on your chest. Uh, now with this one, the um, the mash bill on it is 57% corn, 32% okay. wheat, not rye, wheat, and then 11% barley. Okay. So the nose, it's not too, you know, it's not too much on the ethanol part. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it actually smells pretty sweet. Caramel, leather. I mean, it's all around just, I mean, look at the color on it. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's, a, a stuff right there. that's a dark color right there. Kind of like molasses, almost like a dark amber. I was going there, <laughs> which which kind of which kind of makes sense because you know like if it gives it off that dark color, it kind of molasses, kind of like syrupy vibe going on a little bit already. So, kind of kind of matches with the apple pie already. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely taste the leather part. It's um, it almost has has like a cinnamon taste. So, the cinnamon that you would use in the apple pie would basically mm. balance out with this taste. Uh, even okay. though it's 120, it's not too heavy. It's in the back of the mouth. It's not in the front of the mouth. So some of the uh, some of the other bourbons that we've tasted throughout the month. They hit you right here. They hit you right in the in the front of the, the mouth. This one, it's like a full mouthfeel to it. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. So nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, what I'm other impressed. notes are you getting out of that one? Like besides the leather, because you mentioned the leather, you mentioned the cinnamon. Are you getting that um, corn sweetness since it's like like kind of so, corn heavy on there? So it's. The corn sweetness comes in the beginning, and then okay. the after feel is actually that toasted barley. You actually okay. taste that barley in there. Um, and then kind of like a – almost like an apricot taste to it. Okay. So it, it's a little bit of everything, actually. It's kind of like a – I mean, I got I to gotta go with another sip. Let me, let me do this real quick. There you go. Tie it all together. Let's go. Okay. All right. So it's definitely corn. You definitely taste the sweetness from that corn. It's coming yep. back now. Um, a little bit of caramel, more like a butterscotch is kind of what I'm getting from it. That's why I was trying to wonder if it was going to be a caramel <laughs> or a butterscotch. Yeah, I know. I know. I was, I was playing, I was playing with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then one other big thing is uh, the name ghost hill. Ghost Hill is actually named after their 28-acre home in Dripping Springs, Texas. Can you imagine having a 28-acre home? No. Like what? I mean, look, the, this apple pie is basically the size of their home. I mean, I'm 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 pretty sure we're not looking at apple. I think we're looking at acres right there. <laughs> I get confused. I get confused yeah. from time to time. Well, what you got? What you got for the star well, on this one? Let, let, let's go right into it. Espinosa Crema. 
you what you think of when you hear crema, you think of cream, right? And with this cigar, that's exactly what you're going to get. Tons of creamy smoke. It's made in La Zona factory in Nicaragua, which if you look up La Zona, you're going to find a tons of cigars they make by almost every brand you could think of. So you're going to get a lot of nuts, a lot of caramel, a lot of cocoa, like a lot of coffee going in there as well, and a little bit of spice, but not heavy on the spice, maybe like a little salt babe with the pepper, you know, like a little bit of that. And it works out perfectly fine going off of the notes of that bourbon, but it's not going to go off too bad without the pie either. Like, a, like going off of the apple pie, since it has that caramel going in through it, it's going to tame down that spice and it's just going to work together nicely. And it's going to be tons of smoke coming all over the place. So you're just going to feel everything just a nice ooh-la-la if you want to go there. Ooh, I haven't heard that in a while. I haven't heard there that we go. There we go. Oh, so, so today's a good day for you. Well, if you're having that apple pie and you're having that bourbon with that cigar, that's that's a nice day right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm really especially if you're going to be on that 29 acres or 28 acres. That's a real nice it's day, right? There. 28 acres, get it right. Oh. right. <laughs> At that point, man, you beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I mean that that cigar is nice. I got to pull that back up real quick. Yeah, that's so that's it's a, a look beautiful look. looking cigar. Um, it's uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper with Nicaraguan binder and filler. So technically, it would be a, a Nicaraguan puro without that Ecuadorian wrapper. But when you smoke in this cigar, like it, I I looked up somewhere. Don't know. I didn't hear the, the interview from Espinosa, Eric Espinosa himself, that they were kind of going after that Cuban esque vibe. And surprisingly, when you're smoking that cigar, it works well. But it's like this is not a Cuban, but this is kind of there. You know, like it gives you the same vibe, but it's. The smoke does it, man. Like the smooth smoke. Like you just smoke it in. It's like tons of smoke. It doesn't really leave any weirdness on your on the palate. And it just lends itself well. Like and that bourbon is probably gonna come in and just open right up with the cigar. Now what is um what is the price for the Espinosa? Not not expensive at all. So that's like roughly a nine dollar stick right there. So like it, okay. depending on sales tax in your in your state, some states may be eight dollars. But if you okay. you buy that stick, that's a really good stick, eight nine dollars. If you're living in New York like me, that's that's a ten eleven dollar stick, but worth every penny. Sounds to me like uh, I'll be shipping some up. Got it. <laughs> yep. Yep. There you go. So, <laughs> so it's one of those things, you know. I wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, going back to that bourbon, this is actually their other uh, the ninety five proof. So. What they did, look at the top of it. It's a little screw top, too. Pretty interesting. Yeah. This is brand Very new. Interesting. Um, so I, I meant to bring that up to you before. I mean, it's a pretty nice bottling. Um, I like but, how they're doing their bottles. And I do like that slash with the black going through, like in the, in the background. That looks very yeah. appealing to me. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's good stuff. I, I have a train of oh snap going on in my, uh, my comment <laughs> section here. <laughs> Yeah. It's a common. It'll happen. <laughs> It'll common happen. Mis I, I, I think they're oh snapping on how big those that apple pie was. They're like, oh snap, we can't eat that, but we could try. Yeah, look at look at that thing. I I still don't. I mean, that's that, a that's big old be, thing right there. I don't think you could find this at McDonald's. I don't think so. And if no. you can, it might be just a bunch of chicken tenders. <laughs> At that point, it probably is. Just like it one probably big... is. <laughs> one big lasagna. There you go. But it's an apple lasagna. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like it. Just oh snap all over the place. Look at this. Here you go. One, two, three, <laughs> four. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Um, the the food man, as uh somebody said here. Where's the food man? Oh, double click. Sorry about that. Uh, it's his birthday today, so you, the wife had to confiscate the food man for the night and celebrate his birthday as much deserved. You know, want to give a shout out to Chris for his birthday as well. You know, happy birthday, brother! 
and you know, let, let him enjoy it a little bit while he can. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, tonight was just basically us two uh, going over it. Uh, you know, the thought of, you know, maybe maybe, maybe canceling the show. Eh, we can't do nah. that. We got to go on. I enjoyed Tuesday nights. I look forward to the Tuesday nights and, and sharing good good knowledge with uh, with good people. So, yep. uh, but no, pretty much uh, that's that's the pretty much the end of our show. I mean, we we went through it pretty quickly. Um, yep. Josh, you have anything else for for next episode? No, and next episode is going to be you know probably a spicy one at that because no more bourbon week, so we might. Yeah. test out the waters on the next episode so stay yes. tuned and, and you know we're always here tuesday 8 p.m so you got anything last closing up yeah and grandma said don't cancel we won't be canceling it would just no. be postponing uh, <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're not canceling anything um something that you know i definitely want to uh to ask you know the viewers is what would you like us to review you know, food wise, booze wise, cigar wise, what what are you interested uh, or think the rest of us would enjoy? Um, my parents love, you know, accepting the delivery guy, you know, delivering his uh, <laughs> my products every every week. So, um, yeah, let us know what you're interested in, in consuming and, and we'll uh, we'll review it. We look forward to doing things like that. Uh, but I definitely know that one of one of the next ones are going to be gin. I'll probably do a, possibly do a Hendrix gin. And then um, I kind of want to try seltzers, you know, try different types of seltzers. I I had one this past weekend uh, called Happy Dad. Everybody's been talking about it. I don't know, Josh, if you've heard of it. I actually only, as far as I dabbled in seltzers, were just two brands, and I hate to admit the brands, but White Claw and the other one was um, the Corona Seltzer. That's the only two brands I've tried. Yeah, man, I'm trying to get that's white why I don't try again. That's why I'll never try white. <laughs> no, no seltzers ever after that, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, the, I mean, the seltzers are definitely taken over over the market, but um, mm-hmm. something that um, some of my my friends, I believe you're you're going to be joining as well, is uh, as we know, September was Bourbon Heritage Month. Uh, October, gonna do a beer, you know, yep. do a do a different beer uh, for the for the next couple of coming days. I'm not a huge beer guy, but uh, definitely interested in trying some some new stuff. Um, I know my siblings like the uh, the pumpkin, you know, pumpkin flavored beers and stuff. And yeah, yeah. I, I think I have to go on that note. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't like a pumpkin spice latte? No, you're not into that. You mean all spice? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're telling me pumpkins don't actually taste like that? Anyways, with that note, everybody <laughs> have a great night. Um, this is the last episode of September, so bring on the fall, bring on the cold weather, and uh, bring on the pumpkins. So we will see you next Tuesday. Have a great night.